Uh, we're going to do some last uh, payment calculations. We're going to use the financial solver. Okay, so we're going to use the financial solver, as I said, and this is from the 2018 exam. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So we said that uh, we've got five years and we know it's monthly, so that's why we get 60. And uh, 3.72, we put it straight in there. And the 175, 260.56, uh, that goes in there. It's positive because it's a home loan, so the bank is giving you money. And he's going to make monthly repayments of 3,200, which was why we got minus 3,200 payments per year. And compoundings per year are 12. So it's compounding monthly, and he's making monthly uh, repayments. So type all those values into your calculator. All right, and when we press our FE, we get this number, minus 368.1161774. Uh, let's just do some rounding on that. Uh, get this line nice. There we go. And the one looks at the six. The rest of this doesn't matter. And that says we have to go up. So the we get minus 368.12. And you go, the answer is A. No, no, it's not. Um, so if you look at this, if you add those two together, so you owe 3,200, and you still owe, at the end of the time period, another 368.12. So you have to add those two together, and that gets you this answer. So don't get sucked in with these things. Now, I thought I'd look at this question in a bit more detail, um, because I think this is quite a useful thing. If I was actually to uh, set my final value to be zero, and then I, I press the payment button, I get this as a payment. And you can see that there's this uh, 0.001845. So you can imagine over the 60 payments, that starts to add up to a certain amount of value. And so if you were to do all this, um, you've got to make sure that you actually pay the bank in cents. You can't pay the, the bank in fractions of a cents. So what happens to this little bit? So what I've done here is I got rid of the this little bit at the end here and I rounded the number off to the nearest cent so you can see now that my payments are actually 3205.59 and at the end if I press the final value button uh, I still owe 12 cents so the actual last payment in this case would be 3205.59 plus 0.12 which means I still owe don't forget your dollar sign 3205.71 uh, the bank isn't going to worry about the 0 0.001444431306 of a cent, okay? But you can see that that's a, a very useful way of calculating uh, what your final payment is going to be uh, using the, the financial solver. So remember, you can't pay or this little bit here. You can't pay that, so ignore that. Put that into calculator, and for the last payment, which is the 60th payment in this case, whatever payment it's going to be, uh, you'll get a final value at the end here. Now, important thing. So this is negative because you, you're owing money to the bank. This is negative because you're owing money to the bank. It could be possible that your number has rounded up. In this case, it rounded down. But if your number rounds up, then you might find that the final value number uh, let me just get some eraser because I've done a lot of colouring in here. Let's just clean all that off. If you if if this number uh, over here was actually rounding up, then this this number could be positive, and that means the bank owes you money, and so you would subtract it from this number, not add it to that number. So uh, in this case, they're both negative because you still owe a little bit more to the bank. But uh, if this number here uh, rounded up, um, then you might find that at the end, your last payment is a little bit less because uh, you would have a positive here. So you can have a positive here, in which case you've got to take that away or add it to the negative.